Happy Model EP1 keeps going into bootloader mode, says Serene State of Being. Um, there is a thing that can happen with some flight controllers where the UART pulls the, ex the uh, receiver into bootloader mode. Um, is that this? Is that this fix? Yes. Um, manufacturer successors will usually have a pull down resistor to aid with S bus inversion. This will result in solid LEDs on ESP base. It's best to avoid. So you could just move to a different UART. But if moving to a different UART isn't an example, I think you can do. Yeah. What you can do is wire a pull up resistor like this, okay? All right, so screenshot this, okay? Or or go to the same page I'm on. It's the Express LRS receiver wiring page, and they're talking about that. Uh, either move to a different resistor or solder a pull-up resistor as shown in this diagram. Also, also just to be clear, that's if you that's if you're on a UR and you unhook from the UR and then turn on the receiver and it's no longer in bootloader. No, no, he's saying the res yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I mean, I'm assuming that they're like the receiver bootloader button isn't broken. That's true. I guess the first right. step. That's a good point, Plenty. So the first step is disconnect the TX and RX lines and power up and see if the receiver still goes into bootloader. If the receiver still goes into bootloader, then there's a problem with like the bootloader button on the receiver. It's like broken and it's pressed. On the other hand, if disconnecting the TX and RX lines makes the receiver work correctly, it means that you have this problem and a pull-up, either move to a different UART or get a pull-up resistor. Just Thank to you, tell you why yeah. I bring that up is because specifically the EP1s and similar, the boot pad is right next to the ground pad and you can accidentally solder across them. So it's oh, not well, a whole, it's not a broken that's smart. boot. It's an actual accidental solder bridge. Because there's there's no button, but you could accidentally solder bridge it. That's really smart. Yes. Yeah. So let's just make sure the chat, in case the chat doesn't intimately know what a happy model uh, receiver looks like, on the happy model receiver, the right here. Come on, big picture. Oh my god, I just, I just open image in new tab. Oh, I can't things always work exactly like my brain wants them to immediately. So on the happy model receiver, there isn't a bootloader button. You you put the receiver in bootloader mode by solder bridging or, or just use tweezers or wire by connecting this pad to this pad. And if when you're soldering up ground, you accidentally bridge those pads, your receiver will go into bootloader and the answer is to clear that bridge. So yeah, that would probably be the first thing to check.